What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sink, and uh, yeah, today we're going to be talking about the guns. Uh, there's been a lot of rattle in the Discord lately, there's a lot of people calling some guns bad, some guns not viable, uh, like there's a meta in the game already, or it's kind of pay to win. Uh, there's like a lot of confusion around this, like there's some stuff that's kind of, like they say you can buy guns, uh, let's just go into this first for example. Uh, they say you can buy guns because you can convert crowns into money right um so 700 crowns uh is 14,000 yeah you can buy like an ACOG from it or whatever uh but that being said it's not really an efficient way to spend your crowns I'd rather just use them on skins and so on right you get a lot more for them if you buy skins there's some pretty cool skins in the game like it's just personal preference I like the tiger skins a lot and the red skins, uh, but yeah, um, enough said about that. I'm just gonna say that the converting crowns into credits is just not really worth it. Uh, it doesn't take long to grind guns. Like for me, grinding the AK M14, AK12, M24, and the Scar took me about uh, eight hours ish, uh, with a average like kills or score, I would say, with eighty to hundred kills each game. Uh, so yeah, it's durable. You just have to maximize your in-game proficiency. Uh, so let's just go over it, let's just start with the AK, uh, this used to be one of the most overpowered guns in the game, it's still really good, like it's 34 damage, it will free shot you in the body mostly, likely, and it does a lot of headshot damage. It's not too hard to control the recoil, it does have some real coil, that being said, it has more than most of the other guns, like it sways a little bit awkward, it's kind of weird to uh, describe it, but you will feel it when you use it, it has a little bit more recoil than say the... Uh, M16, which you cannot buy, but you still have it uh, in your arsenal right here. Like, that's the gun you start with for you guys who hasn't started the game yet. Uh, but yeah, uh, the M14 is like a semi automatic, it's really powerful. Uh, it lacks in some areas, which doesn't make it just tons better options. Like, buy it if you want the new gun, it's only 8,000 credits. It's like a couple of games and you got it. Uh, if you do decently, you can even get it in two games. Uh, if you grind enough kills or you get a decent amount of score uh, Yeah, I would buy it. It's a fun gun to use. Uh, it's basically free shots to the body as well um, You're missing like six damage to actually finish the kill off uh, So like one headshot and one body shot is definitely enough to kill somebody uh, Sometimes you can just pick up people that have weak health. It's a pretty decent gun uh, I'm gonna go in a little bit more depth later on why I would not use this but other guns uh, the AK-12, uh, in my opinion, feels like a mix between the AK-47 and the M16. Has a little bit more recoil than the M16, uh, I feel like, or a little bit less. It has a different recoil pattern, that's for sure. Uh, it does a little bit more damage. I don't see a lot of people using it. A lot of people is calling this like the worst gun in the game. Uh, basically, it doesn't offer anything special. But, as I said, you should buy the guns that you want. It just has as much difference as the game as possible. Uh, but yeah, I would, you know, I used it a couple of times. It's quite fun to use. It does a decent amount of damage and it has a decent recoil. Uh, you can get a red dot and a holographics on it as well with the AK. You can still get a red dot and holographic. You get a 4X in the M14. A lot of people don't know that you can have a 4X in this game like it seems like. Because you get called hacker a lot when you get long range kills. Um, so yeah, a 4X in the M14 is pretty good. Uh, moving over to the only vault action in the game so far. Uh, it's fun to use, I'm gonna give it that, it's not the most efficient way to play, basically because there's so many other guns in the game that does the job better, like this is a one shot kill to the head, right, but you can still use the M14 more efficiently than the M M24, it really depends on the players though, I'm not gonna sit here and say everybody's bad with the M24, uh, but people that use it tend to just camp in the spawn or sit on top of like the A hill on valley, um, so yeah, but I see a couple of good players with it, so you can definitely drop 100 kills with it if you're efficient enough. Uh, I would say it's a little bit more, I wouldn't say like higher skill to use it, but you only got that one shot. So there's definitely some elements of skill there. Uh, but the way people use it nowadays is just to sit in camp. Uh, so kinda, it's, a, it's a mixed curve really, I would not you know, recommend mating the M24 unless like you really enjoy it. Like if you want to go for maximized XP, don't use this gun. Uh, but yeah, you can use whatever you want, it really depends, it's a personal preference, but yeah, this is just speaking from my standpoint. Um, Scar H, you can have a red dot and a 4x. Do not underestimate the power of the Scar with a 4x. Everybody's been killed by this gun so far, it's the most overpowered gun in the game. In my opinion, it should be nerfed because you see this gun being used everywhere, but still, it's really fun to use. 
It has 38 damage. This thing ha like it competes with the M14. It competes with the AK, or it's actually out competing most of these guns. Like this thing kills in four sh uh, three shots as well with the M14. Like as you see, damage 47, 38. But this thing is fully automatic um, and it has five more bullets in the mag. Uh, so it's just pretty much just better. It has a better hip fire rate as well. Recon is just average i would say it has some real curve when you spray on long ranges but it's basically a laser beam uh at most ranges um this is like the most overpowered gun in the game this is the gun that i would use this is the gun that i'm using the most if i'm going to cramp up the xp as you see i'm level 39 now about three star 30, uh, 40. uh so yeah i would definitely recommend the scar h it's pretty fun to use uh as well you have the vss the vss is in my opinion superior to the m14 because uh, it has a lot more damage, or it doesn't have a lot more damage, it has less damage to be honest, but it's still a free shot, it's just above the free shot range. It has suppressor, it has 5 more rounds in the mag, and I like the scope a little bit better, that's just a preference. Uh, but it's just a more unique gun, more fun gun to use. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely give this gun a try, like, I would definitely buy this gun. G47, I have not used, but I heard people use it, I just don't think it's worth 148, uh, 44 credits. Uh, basically because it's just not a gun that does anything spectacular in the game. It's like the AK-12, the AK-12 is a lot cheaper though, that's the reason why I bought it. So this gun is just, like if you want variety in the game, definitely buy the gun. It seems like a pretty fun gun to use, but in the scheme of things that's efficient, there's just so many other better guns in the game. Uh, people do say you run faster with the guns, you have the pistol speed when you use this gun. Uh, it might be true, I don't know, I haven't tested it, I might have to test that one day. Uh, but yeah, it has lower damage. I think it has one more damage to the M4, M16. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend buying this gun for the price. If you have a lot of credits, like I have a lot of credits laying around, buy it if you want to play around with it. Uh, it's up to you. Moving on to the last gun in the game, or the last main weapon, is the AK-74M. This gun is probably the best like spray weapon, like 30 round full automatic weapon. Uh, it's just better than all the other guns. Like It has less damage than the AK-47. Uh, these guns are pretty on pair with each other, like they compete in the same scale, I would say. This thing has less damage, better recoil, this thing has more, dam uh, uh, more damage, but uh, uh, more recoil, so it's kind of what do you want to use. This one is more skilled, this one, not that the, any of them have a lot of recoil. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend getting this as soon as you can get. It's a really fun gun to use, you can just jump around, spray people, it's easy to hit headshot. With this gun you can use a red dot, a cog and holographic on it. Uh, the holographic is, or the ACOG is really fun to use, and the red dot is really good to use as well. Um, so it's a really versatile weapon, that's the thing. It's the most versatile gun in the game so far, I think that's why it's so expensive. Uh, with the red dot and the ACOG, you can basically go long range or, you know, mid close range as well. Like, you can still go long range with this gun with a red dot, it's pretty good, it's a laser beam. Uh, so yeah, so if I would pick what guns to use, I would use the SCAR, AKM, VSS, and AK-47, those are the most you know, or power guns in the game, or the more top tier guns in the game, while the M14, AK-12, and the M14 is like mid, uh, M24 is like mid tier guns, and the G47, which is just kind of meh, it's just there, you can use it if you want to, if you have variety, I would not recommend using this if you're going for, you know, XP and so on, uh, but yeah, you can still get it, it's still a fun gun to use, I guess, um, I see that some people use it, so yeah. Moving over to secondaries, right now you have the Glock. Uh, recommend the Glock a lot, basically, because it's has, it has has a little bit more bullets in the mag than the M1911, but less damage. Um, so yeah, definitely get the Glock. There's not much to say about secondaries, to be honest. I'd rather use the Glock than the M1911. As you see, the M1911 has 9 more damage, but it only has 7 rounds compared to 17 rounds, uh, this gun is just superior I think, but like, it's personal preference, I see some people like the 1911 a lot, um, it really depends what you like, but the Glock is just, stats wise, I think it's better, because it has more output damage compared to like the rounds and hip and fire, and like, rate of fire and uh, recoil, uh, so yeah, it's just up to you what you want to do, uh, other than that, yeah, that is the guns that we have so far, we're probably going to get some new guns soon, I hope, um, where's the shop? Primary. Like you see, they have the Gross, the SVD, SVU, Barrett, FAMAS, and P90. I think those guns are going to bring a lot of riot in the game, especially these two guns. Because uh, I don't think they're going to be DMRs. I think they're actually going to be like a sniper, semi-automatic sniper. 
uh, as well with the Barrett. Uh, so I think these are gonna bring a lot of variety in the game, as well with Gross and the P90. The Famas is probably gonna be like the rest of the other guns. Uh, but yeah, really looking forward to new guns. I hope you guys found this guy, small guide, useful. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Take care.